What's up guys, my name is Toby and welcome to another RPG Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own ATM machine. It's going to be a working machine where you can withdraw money, deposit money and check your balance. This is how it's going to look in game. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? How do we make that work? Well, it's pretty darn simple. First of all, you'll notice I've got two events on the screen. There's only one event required for the ATM machine. This event up here, I've just put this in to give the character some gold on startup. Uh, you can get your gold anywhere you want in your game, treasure chests, whatever you like. But I've just given myself 10,000 gold up here just to just to get us going. So, like I said, we can make an ATM machine with just one event. It's that simple. It's going to sound complicated as I'm running through it. It's really not. It's really quite simple. This is the event page. Not a lot to it. Make sure you name your event ATM. That's just a good habit. Just name your events. Keep track of them. We're going to have it set to same as characters priority. The action button will be the trigger. So, the very first thing you want to do, we're going to have three different variables just to keep track of money. The first variable is going to be amount. The second variable is going to be wallet. And the third variable is going to be banked. Very simple, banked is going to keep track of how much money is in the bank. Wallet will keep track of how much money is on your character in the wallet, basically. An amount is going to be the input number on how much you want to withdraw or how much you want to deposit. And we're going to use that to check the wallet and the bank to make sure you can do what we want to do. So the very first thing we want to do is control variable single, choose wallet, set, go down to game data, other and then gold. And what that's going to do is set the wallet variable to how much gold is currently on the character or whatever you've got your currency set to. So then we're going to have a nice little text box pop up. Welcome to future ATM. What can I do for you? Then we're going to do, do show choices. So show choices, we've got four different choices, withdraw, deposit, check balance and exit. Cancel is going to be choice four, which is exit. When the player chooses the withdraw choice, we're going to have a text box pop up that says enter an amount you wish to withdraw. Then we're going to have the character input a number. So select input number and this box will pop up. It says variable and this will default to the very first variable which is amount which is what we made earlier. We've set it to four digits because we want to be able to deposit up to 9,999 or withdraw 9,999. So as I said before, the input number is going to be stored in the amount variable. So you're going to be asked how much you want to withdraw, you're going to type in the number and then that's going to be stored as a variable. Then we need to do a conditional branch. This is the most important part of this event. So make sure you pay attention here. So you want to have an if variable. If variable amount, which we've, the player has just entered, is less than or equal to the banked variable. Create an else branch. So we're saying if the amount that we want to withdraw is less than or equal to what's actually in the bank then we can withdraw some money 
So if it is, we want to change the gold, which is how much money is on our character, we want to increase it by the amount that we've just chosen to withdraw. So we want the amount variable. Then we want to make sure that that money comes out of the bank. So you want to change or control variable, set the banked variable, subtract the amount variable from the banked variable. So that's going to make sure that everything's in line, everything's hunky-dory, no funny business going on. I've put a little sound effect here. That's just to sort of give some audio confirmation that you've just withdrawn some money. And you can also have a text box. So I've done, you successfully withdrew backslash V brackets one. These are the little square brackets. So what this is going to do is reference a variable. The number you put within these brackets will be the variable that it references. So in this case, we're referencing the first variable, which is the amount variable. So the text will say, you successfully withdrew however much you entered in the input number. And then this bit at the end, backslash G, that's just to reference the gold or the name of your currency. So that's going to be cash in my case. So what, what happens if you want to withdraw, if you put in a number higher than what's actually in the bank, then it's going to go to the else branch. We have a little text box in there that says insufficient funds available. Oh, we've not got enough money. What a shame. And then at the end, we're just going to have uh, after the end symbol there, we're going to have another text box that just says thank you for using future ATM. So then we get on to choice number two, which is deposit. Again, we're going to have the player enter a number, which is stored as the amount variable. Um, actually, I've just noticed uh, we want to have a text box, so let's copy this one. Let's paste it in here. Let's edit that. Enter an amount you wish to deposit. There we go. That makes sense. So when the player clicks deposit, a text box will show up. Enter an amount you wish to deposit. They will be able to enter the number which is stored as the amount variable and then you want to have another conditional branch if variable amount what we just entered is less than or equal to variable wallet so if the amount is less than or equal to how much money is on the character then you will be able to deposit some money so then we want to change the gold if that is correct we want to decrease it this time it's set to increase by default make sure you've got decrease have it set to variable amount so it's taking away the amount of gold that you've just deposited basically then you want to control variable make sure that money actually goes into the bank so we're going to have single banked this is the banked variable, how much money is in the bank. Make sure you have add instead of subtract the amount that we've just input. So we're adding what the player typed in to the banked variable. Then we're going to have a text box. You successfully deposited backslash V brackets one. That's referencing the uh, input variable or the amount variable and then backslash G that's just cash as I said before what if we put in amount higher than what we have in our wallet so that's going to go to the else branch now we're going to have the same message that pops up insufficient funds available not got enough money to put in the bank at the end thank you for using future ATM now Final, finally, we're going to have uh, when the player clicks check balance, a text box. This is the easy part. You have the following funds available. And then we're going to reference how much is in the banked variable. Backslash V brackets free 
remember free is the banked variable close brackets backslash g it's going to look like this you have the following funds available zero cash okay and then when exit just have thank you for using future atm and that's all there is to it it's really quite simple let's uh quickly play it we'll try everything out this time so go up to the ATM machine welcome to future ATM let's deposit some money remember we've got 10,000 on us so let's deposit 9,000 gold you successfully deposited 9,000 cash fantastic thank you for using future ATM welcome to future ATM what can I do for you let's check the balance make sure that money went in it did that's fantastic okay let's withdraw some money let's withdraw 500 you successfully withdrew 500 cash brilliant let's check the balance again 8500 cash that's brilliant deposit 500 check balance 9000 cash let's go to our menu We've got a thousand cash on us right there that's exactly how it should be it's all working hurrah we did it um so yeah i hope you found this tutorial useful there's a lot of things that you can do with this we're going to be exploring this further in future videos if you have any ideas let me know in the comments below if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will try and get back to you so that's all there is to say for this video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one okay before you go before you go we've got a little bit of bonus material here so something i noticed when i was recording this episode is um, whenever you completed a function whether you withdrew or deposited money it kicked you out of the event and you'd have to click back on it to complete an another transaction sometimes you want to do multiple things at once you want to check your balance and then you want to withdraw some money and you don't want to have to keep clicking on the event to be able to do that so what I've done is I've created a loop so I went new loop then I cut and pasted the show choices the whole show choices thing inside the loop and then at the very end when you click exit you want to break the loop right there so you go new break loop and that's all there is to it so I'll show you how that's gonna work new game so let's deposit some money 3000 is fine then it takes us back to this menu because we're in a loop let's check the balance we've got 3000 okay let's withdraw some money let's withdraw 3000 okay uh, and then we want to leave click exit thank you for using future ATM there you go done so I think that's a, a little bit more efficient a little bit better let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed this episode see you next time